What's up everyone, for today's video we're going to be reviewing and testing my 2020 Marlin 7 suspension. For the review part of this video, the 2020 Marlin 7 has a RockShox XC30, which is a coil spring, which means you can't put air on these. It also, also has lockout right here. And for travel, right there, it's a 100 millimeter of travel. So right here we have the little preload knob, the plus and minus. This way would be uh, plus and this would be minus. And I'm going to show you right now um, what this does. Also on the other side, right here, let me just focus it. Uh, just get this cable out of the way. Right there we have a lockout. Uh, suspension lockout which you just switch up or down depending on what you want to do and we're going to be testing this and I'm going to tell you what it does so this bike the 2020 Marlin 7 um, has a cheaper setup for the um, suspension the front fork it's a coil spring which means it's not air which it would have been nice to have at least an entry level um, air suspension fork but it comes with a spring which is not bad for entry but you definitely don't want to hit big jumps with this or take a downhill mountain biking because it might break on you or it's just not going to be very efficient because you're going to bottom out the whole time. And we're just going to, um, I mainly use it for like road use or light trails, which uh, it's perfect because you don't beat up on it too much. But we're going to test it out and I'm going to show you what I mean by bottoming, bottoming out. To start off the video, I'm going to tell you what uh, the suspension lockout and the preload does. So for right now, the preload is at its maximum. And as you can see, you don't bottom out as much. So if you're a heavier user or um, like a stiffer ride, you want to add more preload, which means turn it clockwise. Right here, this little knob, you can turn it clockwise. So for heavier users, uh, for example, me, I'm a heavier user, you want to add more preload. And I'll show you this is the max preload and I'll show you with the minimum. So right now I put it with the less preload and as you can see. You have more travel on your suspension. So if you're a little lighter or like a, a plusher suspension. You want to remove the preload. Which means just turn it counterclockwise as much as you want. And I'm going to show you what the suspension lockout does. There's the other knob on the other side. Just turn it um, clock, uh, yeah, clockwise like that. I just turn it on. And there's no travel on your suspension at all. And this is, for example, if you're climbing or you're using it on the road. For example, I use this on the road a lot. Um, I usually have the, the lockout on. That way you don't lose power and you can just pedal as much as you want. And there's no like dip in the suspension there's no dip in the suspension but you can turn it off and on like on the fly right here and just on and off and right there's off and you can just see the suspension go but like i said i'm a heavier user so i like my suspension maxed out the preload and that's how i like my setup to some of you that might mean nothing like what i just said you have no clue what i just said and to me I didn't know about that before I had a bike, so it really like means nothing to me. So I'm going to do a little test and just tell you every time I change the settings on the suspension and what's the current suspension setup I'm using while I ride different terrains. And yeah, let's just go. Let's just go ride and I'll show you and tell you the suspension settings as we go. Okay, we're going to go test the suspension and ride around. And for this test, we're going to be using lockout like this. Watch. That's how you use it. Go that way, and the suspension is on lockout, and we're going to be having the preload set to max. So we're going to go right around, and I'll show you riding around the video. Okay, we're going to test the suspension out. This is a ride through a little, like, path. Hey, this path is pretty cool, so let's ride it out. This is with lockout.
Okay, we're gonna be doing the same path, but this time with uh, without the lockout, so you can see the difference. So as you can see right there, the, I didn't have lock down and it was much harder to pedal uphill because the suspension dips forward. It's pretty difficult. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and comment down below. If you want to see more suspension tests, it was kind of hard to film. That's why it's kind of like weird angles and stuff. But if you want to see another one or more ride videos or anything bike related, please let me know down below what you want to see. Um, hopefully it helped you out um, the video of not let me know what I can do better and I can probably make a, another video about it but for now that's what you guys are gonna get so thanks for watching and I'll see you for another next video